Hi, today we're going to be taking an unboxing with you like at Gundam Build Divers their subquests lineup from the anime manga or manga, how you like to pronounce it of the uh, what is this called? Wait! So, this one is sold as a Build Divers but it's from their Build Divers, I believe it's the online manga, which is called Blight. So, Build Diver Blight series. So far, there has only been two Gundams from the Build Diver Blight series, as in the Gunpla model kits. I'm not sure if this one was the first one and the other one's the second one, or if this is the second one and the other one's the first one. But anyway, this is the 1144 scale high grade. Um, Shining Gundam Blade Arts Mosu. So it's supposed to be kind of designed somewhat loosely based off of the Shining Gundam from Gundam G Fighter or G Gundam, you know. The Gundam series that no one really considers in the whole entire Gundam universe as a Gundam series. It's almost like, uh, what was that, Gundam G Savior? Which was kind of like the live action Gundam movie that everyone's like, that's not a Gundam movie. You know, it kind of has somewhat of Gundams in there and it is live action. It's one that you would not recommend or officially count as a Gundam live action movie. Although there is news and talk that there is a Gundam live action movie coming out pretty soon. As to what it's going to be. Well, we're pretty much guessing that it might be about the all at 782 Gundam. Because, you know, that's just a classic. It's a gun. When you feel it comes, first thing that pops in everyone's head, I don't know way, all that 78 2 mobile suit. Which, yes, all that 78 2 is a mobile suit. Now, I know some people might be saying, dude, it's not a mobile suit, it's a gun. It's a, actually a mobile suit. Because if you look in the lore and the story and the background story and the history of Gundams, you find out that it was actually supposed to be mass produced, but. As you know, a whole army of art 78-2s, but unfortunately, time wise, when the war broke out, they only had time to build one, and then they were like, hey, you know what? Since there's only one in existence, because we didn't have time to build like 50, 60, 2,000 more, we're going to just dub it and call it a Gundam. So that's how art 72, a mobile suit, was then dubbed. As a Gundam, you know, truly it is not a Gundam, it's actually a mobile suit, but people call it a Gundam, so I guess it is a Gundam, you know, it's not really. Anyway, getting back to the Shining Blade, which the Blade part is pretty much true on this Gundam. Up in the little shoulder bits in there, there is these teeny tiny little thrusters that I recommend. You use some glue and you glue those things in. Really easy to fall, really easy to get lost. They are pretty much a freaking pain. And the stickers that they went with this, not the best choice of stickers. Cause let's see if we could zoom in here a bit. Okay, I guess we can't. But uh, oh wait, might have one thing here. Yeah, on the little skirt here, uh, let's see, what can I use that will show up on camera? I guess, uh, Q-tip. Yeah, right down there, on those little bottom pieces of the skirts, those are stickers, and then along the little sides here, those are stickers. These parts up here, they're panel line. Well, actually, you can't see it until I move it there. Yeah, those parts, that's panel line. Which is not acknowledged on the box art. And so those parts are not acknowledged on the box art. And then all the little panels inside here and here. They there is no stitches for them. So to make it look like on the box art, the parts that are blacked in, as you can let me uh, try to move the camera pan a little bit. So yeah, see? These parts here and here. Uh, there goes the bots. Yeah, those parts there and there. Not on the bots, but they are on the fitter. 
And these parts here, they're way up in here. Yeah, you gotta use your own panel liner to panel line them in. That's where they need to be stickers. Right here needs to be stickers. The other parts, no, I think um, down here on the legs, kind of like on the little feet part of the legs, that's stickers. If you lose them, panel line them, it's not going to make a difference. Right here on the big old knee shin guards, I guess you could call them. Knee guards, whatever you want to call them. They house the little flusters in there. Yeah! There's stickers that goes up on there, bud. Guess what? You don't notice them because it's a freaking black sticker on a dark blue piece of plastic. My advice is, if you lost a sticker, don't even bother to take your little paint and paint it into panel line or anything. It's garbage. Because, I mean, the sticker is just like, what? Why? They didn't need to put stickers there. They need to put stickers on the little quad piece of the, you know, little waist skirt for the front skirt. They need to put stitches there, but not on the knees. The blue parts, don't even worry about panel line them. They're so dark, you don't even know the panel line. Something how you f that's I find funny, ha ha ha, on here, is on the box, these little fins for the wings down there, which also works in the uh, jet flight mode. Yeah, there's not really a panel line. I mean, if you actually look with a minor... Not my fine was a magnifying glass. You can see there is paneling, but as soon as you put a gun pro, you know, poor type panel liner mark on there, it won't even take. So on the edges of the wings here, I suggest you get a scriber tool and you panel line those things yourself. Gouge them deep on both sides. Then use your gun pro panel line pour type marker. And, oh my god, panel line. So that's a mistake that they did. So right there, that's a mistake. On the bots, that's a mistake. So the skirt's a mistake. The stitches are a mistake. Stitches, they didn't need to use the stitches. Where they did need to use the stitches, they didn't use. On the part of the skirt here, they didn't acknowledge that there is panel on there. On the little wing bits, you can clearly see on the bots, there is... You know, a little panel line panels cut on there, but on the actual Gundam, you can see if you use a magnifying glass, but as far as a marker that will actually go in there to fill it in, nope, it slides right off. The little ink just goes whoop, slides right off. Like if it's a slide on a piece of butter. So yeah, you do need panel lines to slide it. And the leftover bit, so as for accessories, you get Two beam savers. Now these are not wound beam savers. These are flat beam savers. So the beam savers are flattened. Okay. And you are seeing correctly. One beam saver is longer than the other one. So you get one short, one long. And no, these beam savers do not have points on there. I did not take my side cutters and cut them off with my model hobby knife. They come unpointed with a flat. So they are flat. One long, one short, unpointed beam savers. Why are they unpointed? Because apparently, the stupid little person that is supposed to be pirating this art, he's like, I'm going to use sharp, you know, lightsabers, well, beam savers, you know. But I'm going to make them safe that they are not pointy. All the other people in, you know, Bill Diver's world and in, you know, the uh, Bill Blake manga and stuff it's like dude you cut off the ends of your beam savers to make them not pointy yet they're still a freaking beam saver they can slice and dice and melt another gundam and yet you think just because you got rid of the little tips you made them all nice and safe it's a beam saver come on <laughs> so uh, yeah and then you get you know, the closed hands here. Right now I have him with the open hands. So these are the official accessories and stuff that you get. The unofficial accessories makes up about three fourths of Gundam. So you do get a alternate chest which has green 
and yellow, yellow right there and green there, instead of having yellow there with green little jewel in the stomach. You do get another gun, which you know opens up for who knows whatever freaking reason. Some people said that it's like the Kirito's from Gundam Double O, which kind of looks like that. The handle does flip inward for transformation. You don't really want to do it that way, but this way. The only thing that this is missing is just a green sticker, because well, they only get you enough to officially use one. Not only that. But you also get somewhat of another shield. Now this is only what you might call a semi-shield. It's still usable and functional as a shield, you know, with the football little handle and stuff. Except there is no little red football wing bits because they only want you to use the one shield and one gun. Even though you have pretty much a full 100, well more of a 99% complete gun. Just minus that little green sticker there for the camera. And this, you minus the wing bit. So, probably anyone that has a free printer could print out two little wings and have a free printed, you know, fully completed Esther Shield. Which, you know, hopefully Shapeway could come with the little wing bits that's free printed for maybe like under 10 bucks, maybe. Or Thinkgiver could, you know, have a free printed, you know. PDF file for free. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, po, po, you know, those two websites. Come on, guys, I'm getting you a big credit to fix Bandai's mistake here. Which is a mistake. You do get somewhat of an alternate head here. Kind of the same head up. Instead of having it in yellow, you do have it in green. Unfortunately, no eyes because they only get your eyes for one because they kind of want you to build just one, but you can. But, Semi build to just